Hi, and welcome to the Your Good News podcast with me, Catherine Getty. It's easy to believe the news around us that the world is dark and the future is the same. But what if we chose something different? What if we chose to find the good news in each day? This podcast is a collection of interviews with friends, mentors, colleagues on their good news. From business to health to politics and everything in between, it's my hope that you leave with a boost and find your good news. Welcome back to another episode of the Your Good News podcast. I am really thrilled to share today's episode because it came from a really honest conversation with a dear friend. So as we start each episode, here's a dose of good news. For today, I want to say that my good news is gathering together. You know, over the last 18 months, gatherings of any size have been, for many of us, off limits due to COVID. But as we begin to return to some sense of normalcy, I think we're all seeing a bit more of those holiday gatherings and time to connect with old and new friends alike. And I record today after four days of gatherings, which for a lot of us feels overwhelming. And, you know, my mindset for most of the day had really been in that overwhelm that I'm exhausted or, ugh. but as I sat down to prep for this episode, I just took a moment to be grateful. Grateful for the chance to just sit around a table and share memories. Grateful for those funny things that happen at gatherings. Grateful for the time to actually see someone not via a Zoom background. So it's just, you know, I think it's helpful to reframe this. And I share this as my good news because I hope it's a reminder that sometimes How we choose to view something is really important. It can change from overwhelming to appreciation. So I hope that gives you a boost. And like I mentioned at the outset of this episode, I'm really thrilled to share this message. It came from a conversation that I was saying oftentimes when I think about things going right, I cede my power. I cede over the why it happened to the universe or a big break or just good luck. But on the flip side, when things aren't going right or something takes me down a path that I didn't expect, I'm quick to blame myself or speak ill of the experience, speak negatively of my work product. And why do I do this? Why not believe that inconsistently showing up, you're going to create those big breaks? That consistency is key. And I think, what if I chose to believe when things were going right, that was a result of showing up for myself and for my future? You know, you think about this kind of came to mind of of working out. There's not always going to be an amazing workout. Sometimes you're just going to have those workouts that are consistent, but it builds on each other. Maybe you're getting that one extra rep in or you're stretching more than you were before and have more flexibility. It builds over time. You know, I think I do a lot of the negative probably self-talk or the seeding of the power because, you know, it's easier to do that. It's easier to say, oh, something else is in control or someone I can blame myself and try to control a situation. It's not really the reality. I think if I say anything a thousand times today, and I hope it kind of resonates for you as well, is the importance of just showing up for ourselves day after day and the dividends out that will pay not only in your own life, but for others. So how does this message connect for you? Are there areas where maybe you can reframe or find some gratitude in your journey? So thanks for joining this week. Like I say each week, if you liked, please share, subscribe, and join us for next week for another episode of the Your Good News Podcast.